Hi guys, Jessica here. This is going to be a request by Lacey Johnson, I believe is the username. This is my favorite books this year. To date, I've read 77 in the midst of 78 books. Um, if you're new to my channel, I have a 100 book challenge for myself this year, which you can tell that I'm really getting there. I'm not only in July. So out of those books, I tried to pick about 10 of 78 um, that I think are the best I've read all year. So, no particular order. I just finished Demon Glass by Rachel Hawkins, and it made my list. Um, I think it's phenomenal. If you haven't read Hex Hall, what are you waiting for? I really enjoyed it, but the sequel, Demon Glass, was so much better than Hex Hall, which already impressed me. So, it's definitely worth it. Look, see. Next would be The Diviners by Le Bray. A lot of people have a problem getting through this book, not only because it's so large but there's a lot going on it's like i said in the review probably one of the darkest books i've ever read it included so many different parts of the occult and um just you know all the different like satanism and, and witches and just so much stuff going on I just thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think I actually will reread that at some point. I wish that I would have waited to read it till October, when it's that time of year when you want to be scared, because that book had me get up and turn all the lights on in my house when I was reading it. <laughs> the next book is Cinder by Mar Marissa Mayer. I am was pleasantly surprised that I liked this book. I don't typically like books like that. Dystopian, I think they're considering this is it um and it's kind of like sci-fi too because she is a mechanical machine made thing so i really enjoyed it and i can't wait to read the sequel scarlet the next book actually the bun up is the dark elite by chloe neal and it includes Firespell and hexbound um i mentioned before it's probably if not my favorite um Probably the must-buy uh, bind-up for me for the year that I would suggest to somebody. If you want to go and buy a bind-up and get yourself two books in one shot, definitely get the Dark Elite. Next one is Magnolia League. Also, I like the Magnolia League. It's about a debutante society that has witches and magic going on. And the White Glove War is the sequel, but I enjoyed the first one the best. My next favorite book was Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. A lot of people have been talking about this book again, and it's, I believe it came out last year. Um, I really thoroughly enjoy it. K-Hell Witches. Um... You guys know I love witches. <laughs> the next book is Diva by Jillian Larkin, her flopper series. It is the third book in that trilogy. And I loved that trilogy. If you like mystery, blackmail, scandal, fashion, the blues, jazz, prohibition, um, all that, check out that Diva trilogy. Next book is surprise to me that this is going to make the list. It was in my library hall and is The Grim Legacy. I know Richard Denny really liked that book. He said it's one of his favorite books, I believe, he said to me that he's ever read. It is phenomenal and it is very, very underrated. Um, you don't hear a lot about it here on BookTube. So if you want something that's a little bit different, check out The Grim Legacy. Um, next is the Daughter on the Moon series. I couldn't pick just one book. Um, they do come in bind-ups, the first six books at least. They come three books in one bind-up. Um, and I definitely recommend that. They're really fun and they read really fast. Uh, each of the daughters has a different power. So one's like invisible, one can do time travel, stuff like that. And it's really interesting. And I've made my way through the first six. I have seven and eight. And I still need to purchase nine through thirteen. So if you like series, like you guys know I do, check that out. The last two I'm going to talk about are the new adult um, genre that's been going around. Um, I've really enjoyed Entwine With You by Sylvia Day. It is the third book in the Crossfire trilogy, which was going to be a trilogy. Now we're going to get book four and five. I also read Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire, which was okay, but in comparison, 
entwine with you and the whole crossfire books are so much better so those are my one two three four five six seven eight nine ten top ten books so far in 2013 thanks for the request happy reading and i'll talk to you guys later bye